Welcome to another edition of Straight A Walking. We're here outside of Job Corps and we're going to bust in on our friend Kristen, who is a senior admissions counselor, and ask her some vocabulary questions. Are you ready? Let's go. Come on in. Come on in. Shut, you got the door? Hello. Hey, hello. Hi. You're going to ask me some questions again, are you? Yes, that's what I'm here for. You know, we're straight okay. A walking. You know, we're going to ask Kristen some questions. Okay. Are you, are you okay with that? I think so. Let's see. I would say Wickham's charm could deceive Lily into tricking her into believing that he was an honorable man, leaving her totally unaware of the ostentatious life that he had led up to that point. Um, that could work. Um, extricated, I don't think works. I'm not sure of that other word on here. Some of these words I honestly don't know the meaning to. Which is quite, over, um, quite all right. Which is quite all right. Um, Wickham's charm beguiled Lily, tricking her into believing that he was an honorable man, leaving her totally unaware of the profligate life he had led up to that point, and I'm not too familiar with that word either. Um, so A could work or D could work, um, because deceived and beguiled both are, have similar meanings. Um, ostentatious may or may not work there. In that second question, I'm not sure, like I said, of the second word, but D might work because Sometimes the most obvious answer isn't necessarily. I like the logic. The right you hear her thinking it through. Um, you hear her talking it through. Sometimes when something is too, it's too easy. It's too obvious. So maybe it might be something else. So I would say it's between A and D, and I'm just going to guess that it is D. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. I don't know if you guys caught that as she was making the connections between the blank and tricking her right and so deceived and beguiled both mean the trick and in the second blank um, she wasn't too sure but she used a little bit of logic she said she narrowed it down to A and D and in the second blank it had to be something that uh, you know they have chosen in intentionally very challenging vocabulary so she used the logic saying well deceived seems too easy for the first blank so Let's go with D, and it got her to the right answer. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations again. So are you ready for the second question? I am. You guys ready at home? Get it on. Okay. Let's see. Motivated by his blank inclinations toward Elizabeth, um, with just that information, we have no idea, um, Darcy blank, all those to whom Wickham was indebted, thereby indirectly professing his love. So he must love Elizabeth, and he could be affectionate toward her. Amorous means to love, so I would say that motivated by his amorous inclinations toward Elizabeth, Darcy reimbursed all those to whom Wickham was indebted to reimburse. You reimburse people that you are in debt to, thereby indirectly professing his love. So I would say that this one is E. Final answer? Final answer. Good job. Two for two. Excellent. Let's give it up for Kristen. Woo! Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Now, um, we don't know if you're able to beat the students at home or not, uh, but that really doesn't matter because we're just having fun. Thanks for taking time to have fun with us today, Kristen. Thank you. Enjoy. All right. Take care. Thank you.